Once the SJMS login screen is loaded, type in the admin credentials for the creator to log in. The SJMS dashboard is then loaded after logging in. This dashboard gives a quick view of the user, vehicle, and travel details. To add new user, click the Settings and then User option from the drop-down list. This option displays all the user's data stored in the system. Click the Add New button displayed on the top right corner of the page. Here, fill in all the user details that are displayed on the page. This page also allows the creator to add any attachments related to the new user details. Once the details are filled in, click the Save button displayed on the right corner. Once the user is added, the next step will be to add the vehicle inspection details. To do so, click the Settings and then click the Vehicle Inspection option from the drop-down list. In this page, the vehicle inspector can add or remove details that he wants or doesn't want to inspect from the default details. To add anything new, the vehicle inspector can simply click the Add New button displayed on the top left side of the page. This will open a dialog window in which the necessary details must be filled and then Insert button must be clicked. The next step is Unit Configuration. Here, a new unit can be added just like how we have done earlier. Click the Settings tab and then the Unit Configuration option. Click the Add New button from the top left side of the page. A window will appear wherein the unit name can be typed in the text box and then the Insert button must be clicked. If you need to change the language, you can simply click the Settings tab and then Language option from the drop-down list. A new page is loaded. Here, the list of languages will be displayed for the user to choose from. To select the destination or route of your journey, click the Routes button. This will display a drop-down list wherein the user must click the Location button. Location page will display a list of all the locations previously stored. To add a new location, click the Add New button on the left side of the screen. This will display a window wherein the user can insert the location name, location code, and the address. To add a new route, click the Routes tab. A drop-down list will be displayed and then click the Routes option. The result page will display the starting location and the destination point of the journey along with the route taken, vehicle type, and other necessary details as you can see on the screen. To add a new route, simply click the Add New button given in the top left side of the screen. This will display a window where the user must fill in all the necessary details pertaining to the new route. To add a new vehicle, click the Routes tab, then select Vehicles option from the drop-down list. This option will display the Vehicle Details page wherein all the details from vehicle chassis number to registration expiry dates are displayed. New vehicle details can be added by simply clicking the Add New button given at the top right side of the page. This will display a new page wherein all the necessary details regarding the vehicle must be filled. This page also allows the user to insert an attachment regarding the vehicle and then click the Save button provided in the top right side of the page. After inserting all the details regarding location, routes, and vehicles, then comes creating a journey plan. Click the Journey Planning tab. This will display a drop-down list wherein the user must click Create Journey option. This will display a page where the creator must fill in the journey details. Let's suppose the creator must create a journey plan from Muscat to Rima. Steps he needs to follow are these. Select the From location by clicking on the drop-down list, which is Muscat. 
Then select the destination from the drop-down list, which is in this case, Rima. Then the creator must select the vehicle type and route. Then appoint a departure date and time along with arrival date and time. Choose the vehicle number that will be taking this journey. Select the number of supporting drivers that are going along with the name of the main driver. Details of the unit must be selected along with the name of the journey manager. Email ID and phone number of any person concerned with the journey can be added here so they receive all the details regarding this journey. Addition points can be added in the remarks section. The Save button provided on the top right must be clicked to proceed further. Once the plan is created, click the Journey Planning tab and then click the Journey Planning option. This will display a page with all the journey plans including the one we created just now. Status of the journey plan that was created just now will be displayed as open. Next step is for the inspection manager to inspect all the details regarding the driver and the vehicle. To do this, the inspection manager must click the Edit option provided under the Remarks section. This will display a window which has the details of the safety for the vehicle and the driver. Here, all these options must be checked and saved. This will change the status from Fail to Pass. Only after the inspection manager has passed the details for the journey, the plan is moved to the journey manager to approve the whole journey. To do so, the manager must click the Issue Journey button provided on the top right side of the page and then click OK. You can also add passenger details if there are any additional passengers traveling along with the driver in the fuel truck. To do so, click the Passenger Details tab, click the Add Passenger button provided on the top left side of the screen. A window will appear wherein the Journey Manager can add the details of the passenger and click the Insert button. If there are any files regarding the journey, it can be added to the Attachments tab. Click the Report button to issue the final report of the journey. This is what the journey plan will look like. The plan will include all the details that were added regarding the journey. This is how the vehicle tracking dashboard looks. This enables the journey manager to live track the vehicle's movement, giving a quick view of the geographical location of the vehicle, along with the details of the vehicle like the vehicle number, and where has it last reportedly reached? 